we all have that android device that has become old and even though the device is perfect and works fine the user experience is not how it used to be when you took it out of that shiny new package in the course of time it has slowed down a lot to an extent where the device lacks so much with even day-to-day -day tasks like opening an application making the device almost unusable even though it functions well well in this video i'll show you a couple of tricks using which you can speed up such devices i'm data from track android and let's get into the video so before getting started your device needs to have root access for these methods to work so yeah make sure that your device is rooted so the first method is using kernel auditor application so you can easily download this application from play store and what it does is it lets you tweak in some granular things like cpu and gpu clock speed governors and stuff like that so the first thing you have to do once you download the app is open the app and set the cpu max frequency as the maximum frequency available for your device and change the governor to performance and now do the same for the GPU as well so what we are basically doing is we are setting the maximum clock speed of the CPU and the GPU to the maximum available clock speed by doing this we are making the device run at its highest clock speed for the most part it's sort of like overclocking your cpu but we are not actually overclocking but instead we are making the device run at its highest clock speed for the most part so that you get better performance but do note that while this method improves the performance of your device it comes at a cost of battery life and increase in device temperature of course we are running the cpu and gpu at its highest clock speed so so of course the device is going to heat much more than it usually does and in some devices it might even cause overheating like literally you can't use your device and it might even cause instability so if you follow this method keep this in mind and be cautious so if you are kind of a noob with these kind of things just skip this method don't don't follow this method instead you can follow the second method which is more efficient and it does not have any heating issues like this method does so the second method is by using lspeed application so lspeed offers a bunch of profiles for you to choose from in various categories like overall performance of the device cpu performance uh, internet browsing performance so you can basically select different profiles for different things uh, maybe all you want to do is just improve your browsing experience then just change the browsing profile and once you choose a profile from the bunch of default profile it offers what it does is the app runs a bunch of init.d scripts and build prop tweaks to improve the performance of the device while it looks simple, the init.d scripts and the build prop tweaks the app applies does make a lot of difference. And you can notice the difference in overall fluidity of the device instantaneously. And best of all, if your device starts to heat up or if your device feels a bit more warm than usual or if you just not if you are just not satisfied with the profile which you selected, you can always change to whichever profile you want. So yeah, those were a couple of tweaks which you can use to improve the performance of your old Android device. Do not use these tweaks on your newly bought Android device. It, does, it just does not make any sense. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's it for this video. If you like this video, go down and hit the like button. And for more videos, hit the red subscribe button. And I'll see you all later. See ya.